It's market day in Weatherby. Uh, as you can see, it's a busy scene. Uh, got plenty of uh, local shops and stalls um, with the local community buying their needs for the week. As you can see, Weatherby depends on small businesses. Uh, and we need to make sure that those small businesses are looked after. But besides the people that you see here today, there are lots of other people that live in places like Weatherby that also commute into Leeds to go work in the industries of finance and commercial properties and also, of course, the growing field of digital. We need to make sure that those businesses, whether they're big or small, that are based in our area and employ our people, are given the most stable, sustainable base upon which to grow. Businesses don't put money into investing in their future if they're not sure of their future. One of the things that we can do now that the referendum has passed is to make sure that we don't go for a hard Brexit, which is planned by Theresa May and her government. If we can stay within the single market, that provides the most stable environment for businesses to make their business investments. It's bad enough with all of the things that the government has added onto business, like the apprenticeship levy and the change in business rates, and the understanding that actual lo local business rates will also be the future funding for all those local services that are under pressure now, like adult social care. We need to make sure that whatever's happening in those areas, that actually the basic economy is protected, and that's best served by staying within the single market and the customs union, working with the European Union as opposed to against it. Because at the end of the day, they're the people that are going to buy the goods and services produced for our area.